All right, the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to draw from observation. This will come in handy if you're not using a grid technique um, and if you don't want to trace something. So the first step here is to make sure your papers are kind of aligned. I always make sure that the edges of my paper on my drawing paper are kind of even and parallel to the edges of my re uh, reference over here. That way you're not drawing at different angles. And to get started, I have to, the, step, the first step of this is to map out my drawing paper. I have to figure out where I want this image to go in my drawing paper, what size I want, um, what, what location. So right now I'm just gonna draw it a similar size. I'm gonna map out where the top should go. I'm gonna say the top's gonna be about right there. Bottom is about right there. And in order to start my drawing, I'm gonna start off very, very simple using simple lines and simple shapes. And then over time, I'm gonna hone in on detail. So as I look at this image of this cartoon alien, I look at it almost like a triangular composition with the head being the top point and the two feet being the um, other two points in a triangle. So I would just start off with a basic triangle and I'm just gonna sketch this out. Just a rough little shape here. The reason why I have the uh, bottom part at an angle there is because the feet are not parallel with the paper. They kind of go up at an angle so right there, I'm just gonna start with that triangle. That's gonna tell me basically where on the paper I'm working. Then from here, I'm gonna use simple lines and shapes to map this out just quickly. It's gonna be rough sketches. I'm gonna draw really lightly because I'm gonna erase a lot of stuff. But as you can see, the head is more of an oval shape. Uh, we got some rectangles in the torso here. I, I like to use lines to kind of map things out. I, I think that this hand is more of a triangular shape. Uh, maybe some ovals for the feet. So I'm going to use basic shapes and lines to kind of map out where this, uh, where all these parts of this image belong. And like I said, it's going to be kind of rough, rough shapes and lines just to get started. Some lines come out where the feet go. I know that triangle is going to be over here for the hand. It's going to be more of a rectangle for the torso. and just really rough sketches that just kind of map out the basic shapes of the image. Then from here, I'm gonna kind of add some detail. I'm gonna figure out where these eyes belong. And I, I like to use fractions to kind of figure things out as well. So if this is the top and bottom of my image, um, roughly about halfway is right here in the actual reference here, halfway is around where that thumb is. So that thumb should be located around here. All right, and then right above the thumb is where the chin is located. So I can kind of start mapping out where this head belongs and getting more of a exact shape of the head and kind of map out where the eyes go. And nothing in here is perfect. It's just a, a beginning step to get started. Um, just mapping these things out. I know the uh, iPhone or MP3 player, if you know what that is, it's located around here. And then from here, we'll just continue to go into more detail. So the second step of drawing from observation is to kind of clean up my messy sketch using my eraser and to kind of fix some things that aren't quite perfect yet. We got a general uh, idea of where things belong, but nothing is even close to being perfect. So I've noticed that I've made way too many sketch marks here in the face. I know this eye is way too far over to the right. So I'm gonna start in here on the head and I'm gonna get the basic shape of the head a little bit better. So this second round, I'm, I'm going just a little bit darker and I'm focusing in on more detail than that first step where it was just very generic, rough shapes. All right, so whenever I work with faces, I like to separate the face using lines. I use a vertical line to go down the center of the face and usually a horizontal line around where the eyes go. So I would say the eyes kind of fit right in there. I know this rough sketch of that eye was a little bit off. Um, I think this eye is gonna fall somewhere right around here at an angle going up towards the headphone, like that. 
Another good tip is to constantly look back and forth. If you look at this eye and then come over to your drawing over here and just stare at this and draw it for 20, 30 seconds, you're gonna kind of forget what it truly looked like and you're gonna start drawing um, what your brain thinks you should draw. So constantly have your head on a swivel going back and forth between your um, drawing and the image you're looking at, the photo reference. All right. So another technique I like to use um, is just imaginary lines. I know with the grid, when you draw, to, draw something out with a grid, there's lines there for you. Um, but when you're drawing from observation, you don't have that. So I like to just kind of line things up. Here's a good example right here, going from the edge of this eye straight down is right where that thumb, thumb belongs. So if I just draw a light line here, I know that thumb is right there. I have it right where it needs to be, okay? The thumb is just a little bit further away from the chin. I like where that's at. It kind of bends in here. And that finger is going to overlap with the headphone and make it like an oval shape. All right, so once again, <clears throat> I'm going to start getting rid of some of my really sketchy lines and keep the lines I really like and need to start to clean this up a little bit. All right, so coming into the headphones now, now I showed you how to, how to use a vertical line to line things up. Now I could use horizontal lines. If I do a line straight across underneath that first eye, that big eye, I notice that this right eye is just a little bit above it. Um, same with this headphone. That eye and the headphone are very similar and that eye is a little bit lower. So if I do a straight line going straight across, I know this eye is a little bit too low. I need to raise that up a little bit. And I probably would have never even noticed that if I wouldn't have used that horizontal line technique. And I know just right above this line is where the headphones begin. Right there, and they come right in really close to that eye. My head is on a swivel. Um, right now I have this headphone kind of where that eye is located, but if you look over here, it's above that eye. So I need to bring this up a little bit further here and make this oval a little bit larger. So during this step, you're just kind of fixing areas, you're lining things up, making sure they're in the right spot. You're using positive and negative space to uh, figure out where things belong. Um, and if I continue on with this triangle here for the hand, Right now I'm kind of focusing on this negative space right here. It's like that little triangle, triangular area. That's gonna help me draw that finger. And we got another oval shape right here. And then the palm kind of comes in right here and connects to that thumb. So I'm starting off with very sketchy, simple shapes and I'm cleaning them up as I go and slowly honing in on more and more detail. All right, so the next step in drawing from observation is going to be polishing some things up. Before I get to that, I want to bring up a couple of other techniques that I use when I draw. Um, one of them is uh, called clocking angles. So when you're looking for a, lot, a specific line, lining something up, I have like an imaginary clock in my head and um, I kind of use that clock to determine what angles are, or you could just hold up your pencil or something. So if, I'm, if I wanna get the angle of this line in between the feet, you can kind of just line it up with your pencil and then bring it over to your paper and get an accurate um, angle of that line. All right, same thing with like the thumb lining up with the finger there. You can kind of just line up your, your uh, pencil as long as your papers are kind of even and lined up, kind of clock that angle bring it over, it should be pretty close. All right, same thing with these two fingers. Right there. In fact, I can actually move that one a little bit. I think this finger's a little bit too low. This line right here, I think, is a little bit steeper than that line. I think it should be out a little bit. So that's one adjustment I know I would make. I'd probably bring this line out here and then fix this finger right here. All right, um, same thing with lining some things up. When you're at this stage right here, you can kind of just line things up. I know that eye lines up with the thumb, which eventually will line up right here in the, the jeans. Eye to thumb, you see how this leg could actually move over a little bit. All right, so I'm still not even close to being perfect, um, but these little techniques right here can help fine tune your drawing 
and get things that might be slightly out of place in a better spot. All right, so if I line up the hand straight across, it lines up right with the corner of that uh, MP3 player or the iPad or whatever, or iPod, whatever you want to call that. That looks like it's in pretty good shape right there. If I bring a line straight down from the headphone here, it should hit that knuckle straight down. You're right there, which means I should probably bring this out just a touch and have this hand coming out right there. Small adjustment, but um, all these little things will make a difference. I think that this needs to be a little bit larger now I'm looking at too, how it interacts with the headphone. Um, you can even focus in on positive and negative space. So you see how I made this line here, that could help you focus on just this interesting shape right here. Sometimes that's an easier shape to draw than the actual finger. So now that I move this over, I think that actually lines up better than what I had it before. Same with this line right here. It makes this interesting shape right here. And if that matches, you're good to go. A line right here from foot to foot. Let me erase all my sketch marks. So this shape right here should be pretty similar to that. In fact, I'm noticing mine's a little bit wider than that one. So I just adjusted this foot. I think that means I need to bring this foot in a little bit. More to about right there. And I would have never noticed that unless I would have checked this negative space. And I'm gonna have to move this line over as well, which will make my foot more accurate. All right, so a combination of clocking angles, seeing where things line up with each other vertically and horizontally, and then focusing in on negative space and positive space um, to really get this accurate. And then after this, we will hone in on some more um, detail by polishing things up. All right, so once you have your basic image kind of mapped out, it's in a kind of a rough, sketchy um, status right now, the final step to this drawing process, drawing from observation, is just polishing up your drawing. So this is where you're gonna come in and actually you can press a little bit harder. Now you know, where, know for a fact you have your lines where they need to be. And I'm kind of ignoring the thick black line there. I'm just kind of drawing where that area would be. Um, and as I'm doing this, I'm just polishing some things up, erasing some of the sketchier areas. And sometimes when you do this, you have to go in and, and redraw some small details, but that's okay. I get rid of my lines that are lining things up and dividing things that helped me out before, but I don't need them anymore because I already have things pretty much where I want them to be. And right now I'm just cleaning up my lines, making them more crisp and clean and getting rid of all the unnecessary stuff. And as you're doing this, you can go ahead and add more detail to your drawing. So you can add the little highlights, the little shadowy areas, all that good stuff.